Welcome back everybody. Just now getting the old banana boat undone. Pretty excited. Just got out here right after work. Work just got over. Drove up north a little bit and I'm here. We're gonna be doing some fishing today. Pretty excited about it. Uh, a little nervous at the same time because really this, this boat needs to be put to rest. I'll show it to you in just a second, but the bottom of it, seen better days. We have officially got pretty good size leak and I have repaired it twice now. And every time I repair it, I have to dig a little bit more into what's originally there and just not going so well. I plastic welded it, but unfortunately the plastic welds just, they're not holding. Uh, as you can hear a little bit, it's gonna be a pretty windy one. Uh, the wind has definitely kicked up a little bit. It was pretty low this morning and it picked up some and then the weather, you know, it was predicting 10, 11, and now we're getting up 13 to 15. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we don't get blown all over this lake too bad, but I'm excited to be out here. I'm thankful to be out here. Let's see if we can catch some fish. The goal is to maybe try some topwater fishing today. I'm gonna throw around some frogs. If frogs don't work, we'll switch to swim baits. We'll see you at the lake. There's my leak. Okay, we started the journey. We're doing a little drag back to the lake. Pray for this boat. It's gonna need it. I'm really hoping I don't end up at the bottom of the lake. Okay, we have made it to the lake. Very excited. Let's get in there and do some dangling. Starting with the frog, we'll see what happens. Please tell me that was on camera. If that's any, any indication of how fishing's gonna go, it's gonna be a good one. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give it one cast real quick. Well, top water frog action. We'll see if we can get something. Just one cast, then we're gonna hop in. Oh, come on now. That was so cool, that fish jumped completely out of the water. One more cast, just cause. A little bit farther this time. Trying to catch something from the shore before I get in and disturb it. Okay, I guess it was just a fluke that that fish jumped. My dad was actually here once and we were fishing and a fish just jumped into his kayak. Unprovoked, hadn't been caught, nothing. Just jumped on in. Okay, we're officially moving. I think if I had to guess, water temps are in the high 70s, low 80s today. We had a little bit of rain the past couple days, and so, not a ton, but just a little bit. And so I think it's brought some of the weed growth down just a little bit and then lowered the water temp. I don't know if that's gonna affect the fish a lot. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. We'll just have to wait and see. But I think fishing is gonna be fun tonight, so let's try to catch something. A lot of wind, and the wind is gonna make it very tough on me. But sometimes with the wind, you can use some of these moving baits a little bit better and just have a lot of luck. That's why I've got the swim bait with me as well, just in case I decide to go that route. There we go. Ah, popped off. Dang, that was cool. That was a really neat bite. I usually don't catch a lot of fish over here, so the fact that I've already gotten a bite, it's pretty neat. There's what I'm throwing. It is a little ribbit frog. I think it's three and a half inches long. You can get some that have like a popper on the front so you can pop the frog. I like to just work it straight up like it is a buzz bait. It works excellent on lakes. It works great places like this as well. But I mean, big lakes, you throw it in the grass, you throw it in pads, or you can throw here. Like today, I'm gonna be fishing a lot of moss. There's not really any pads or uh, grass here. There's a fish. Ah, oh, lost another one. I think it's gonna be a good day of fishing. I just gotta figure out why I'm not hit, hitting these things. I think this bait can be a little bit tougher out of a kayak. If you're in a boat, you can just react a little bit better, a little bit quicker and better hook sets. Being solo in a kayak just makes things a little tougher. But if fishing were easy, everybody would do it. Spot one, two awesome bites, no fish yet. We're gonna work out into this center little area here. A lot of moss here, it's really shallow. It's kind of like a sandy spot. I'm not sure what the natural feature is there or if this is all man-made, but there's usually a lot of fish that hang out here. Um, early spring when the fish are spawning, it can be incredible. Sorry about the wind noise, but we're gonna keep fishing through it. A little honk daddy over there on the island. There he goes, or she goes. Not sure if it's a he or a she. It's really murky back here. I'm not used to it being so dirty. 
There he goes. Bye. Un friggin' believable. <laughs> uh, oh man. Bite number three, okay? We've been working hard. Like really working hard for these fish and uh, my game plans are not working the best so far. Three bites, goose egg on the fish. I don't know what's going on. Wind's picking up again though. Gosh dang it, another one. That one's a little more understandable. Super thick weeds there, so just had trouble getting through them. All right, after that last one, I'm a little bit discouraged. I'm not sure what's going on. It, it's tough in here right now. I don't know why, but sometimes in late summer, sometimes, not all the time, this place just shuts off. And when I mean shut off, I mean zero. And I think that's just what's happened today, unfortunately. I'm not giving up yet. I think I'll be able to get one or two, but it's tough. It's, it's, it's really, really tough. I'm hoping that I don't end up with a skunk today. But we'll see what happens. I've got about a quarter of the lake to go, and then I'll probably start doing some rounds, maybe going to the hot spots that I've had before and try to throw some different baits. I can always throw something off the bottom and let it bounce off the bottom. Problem is it's a soft bottom here. Lots of weed, lots of mud, and it's just dirty. So I don't want stuff to get lost down in there. I want the fish to be able to see it. So that's why I really enjoyed throwing top waters here because they can hear it, they can see it. And uh, I've had some bites, just gotta connect now. Oh my goodness gracious. I was about to give up on that cast. I was like, man, that is a perfect cast running right along the weed edge right in front of me. Sure enough, a fish followed it in. I don't know what's going on. I really don't. What the heck? Unbelievable, another miss. They just don't want to take the frog today. This is literally one of my favorite lures to throw, and I cannot get anything to bite it. All the way, I should say. Do I need to expose the hook more? I don't know, I mean, it's shouldn't be that hard to get a hold of a fish. I guess they can't all be good, right? I, I don't know. It was tough. I, I did have some fun out here. I'm dying in this kayak. I'm excited to get out of here. We're going to start uh, rolling back to uh, the car now. Unfortunately, no fish today. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to make this a video because I had so many blow ups. There's another blow up. I don't know what it is. These fish are jumping out of the water. Maybe it's the lack of oxygen. They're just struggling this summer or what? I, I don't know. It was fun to come out here. It's a beautiful night. Got to see some incredible wildlife while I was out here. Just did not get the encounter with the largemouth bass that I was hoping for. Um, six, eight bites, I don't know, something like that. A lot of bites, really. It's almost an abnormal amount, but usually I can you know, execute on those, but tonight just wasn't my night, I suppose. But I gotta say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I just, it's gotta, you gotta be real. This is what happens when you go fishing. Not every time you go fishing, you catch fish the first cast. Uh, sometimes you get skunks. That's just the way it is. I'm thankful to get some bites tonight. Uh, just wasn't able to get them in the boat. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll catch you on the next uh, bass fishing without catching anything episode. Peace, y'all.